the storage auction business is a high volume selling game. Volume is volume's the name of the game. Volume is the key. Volume is really the only way that you're going to be successful in this business. Um, it's not for pickers, you know, not for somebody that doesn't have any space, not for somebody that doesn't have any way to move stuff. You gotta have a way to move a lot of stuff. And you don't necessarily have to own a big truck, own a trailer. Um, there's, you know, you can always rent trucks, but that's going to, you always gotta take into account, that's gonna eat into your, eat into your budget and cause your expenses to go up. You don't have to have a huge store or warehouse. I've got a store, um, it's 18,000 square foot store is what we have. And a lot of that space though actually have vendors, so that's not all my space, but probably half of the space overall is mine that I either use to sell our own stuff or store stuff. And then we, sometimes we overflow behind the building, we have stuff on trailers and different stuff like that. But you gotta have space. So if you don't have you know, a huge amount of space, you need to at least have a garage or a storage unit to work out of, and you're gonna have to be able to move it out of there quickly because one 10 by 10, that's a pretty good amount of stuff. That'll like really put, you know, put a big chunk into your garage. You start talking about 10 by 20s, 10 by 30s or bigger, a, a full 10 by 30 is a massive amount of stuff. That's like one whole house full of stuff put into a storage unit that you're bringing and, you know, having to sort through and having to logistically move and sell. Um, so you've got to have a plan to move it quickly if you don't have a lot of space. So you got to have yard sales, you got to have outlets to, to get rid of it. Go to the flea market. Um, if you're not going to deal with the furniture, get you some connections on the furniture where you can immediately sell them the furniture, um, whatever the case is, or be really quick and good at your Facebook marketplace game, Craigslist, whatever way that you're using to sell big items yourself. You would have to immediately, really quickly get it on there, get a system in place to get that stuff selling as quickly as possible to, to have enough space. Um, and then, you know, as far as sitting there and every little item, looking every tiny little item up and trying to be like, I looked this up on eBay and it's $25 on eBay, so I have to get $20, $25 for it. Sometimes it's like you only paid $100 for the unit and you know, there's so much stuff in there. It's like if you can get five or $10 for the item and sell a bunch of them quickly, that's the name of the game. That's the key. Because you want to be able to, you don't want to just buy a unit and be stuck trying to sell that unit for, you know, for weeks or months. You want the units to kind of overlap. You want to be selling a lot of it, but then you want to, you know, buy other units and add on and just, you know, and continue just part of the train. If, you know, if you're constantly just trying to wait until you sell every, every last item before you go buy another one, that's not really a key to success. You're missing out. It's the key is to buy as many units as you can. The more you buy, the luck you're gonna get. It's like playing the slot machine. If you just come up and you pull the slot machine down one time and you sit there and you wait another hour and you pull it one time, it's like your chances of winning aren't very, very good. Oh, you pull it and you win, you know, $100. I'm gonna, you know, I'm not gonna play again. I'm gonna go spend this money and wait until I spend all the money to, you know, to play again. I mean, it doesn't really make any sense. You go play the slot machine, you're gonna pull it, you're gonna pull it. The more times you pull, the more likely it is you're gonna win. That's not really, you know, playing a slot machine is not really way to long-term make money, but, you know, you've gotta play a lot to, to win. If you're going to, you know, play the lottery, the more tickets you buy, the bigger your, chan your chances of win. But it's not really like that. I'm talking about for a jackpot because you're gonna have base hits. You're buying units, you got base hits, you're selling stuff, you're making money, but, as far as those jackpot units where, you know, I paid $500 for it and there's one item in here that is $3,000 and there's a bunch of awesome stuff and I end up making $10,000 plus. To get units like that more often, you've gotta be, you gotta play the game more often. You gotta buy more units. So you gotta get those base hits and you gotta speed them up. You're getting base hits, you're getting base hits, you're getting base hits, boom, hit a home run. Base hits, boom, hit a home run. So instead of hitting, you know, Hitting that once a year, hitting that home run, you're buying a lot of units, and it's like, bam! I hit one. once a month. I'm getting one of the. I'm getting a home run. So that's the name of the game. If you want to really, really be successful, you got to move a lot of stuff. Like what we do, what we originally did is we had a warehouse and we sold so much stuff for a dollar. When we looked at an item, if it was like this is a five dollar item, we were like, put it in the dollar. Area. If it was like if this is a six or seven dollar item, put it in the dollar. Area. We sold all that stuff for a dollar, and we sold a lot of stuff 
and it would happen really, really quickly. We could have made more money, but you know, short term, but overall, um, it was just, it was what made our business really grow really quickly. Because one thing, the customers are happy. They're hooked, they're coming in. They're not just buying one or two things. They're buying piles of stuff, literal piles of stuff, you know, fifty, hundred dollars at a time of just dollar stuff. We didn't, and then if you had stuff that, you know, 10, kind of our threshold was $10 items or more then we would put a price on it. But everything under $10, we were putting it in the dollar area. Now what we do, the way that we sell a lot of volume is we have an auction and everything in our auction starts at one dollar there's no reserve so we never we don't hold anything back if it looks like if i'm like oh this item is worth twenty dollars and it only sells for one dollar it's gone for a dollar and it works out good for us because we sell a lot of stuff at that and then the funny thing that happens with the auction is an item that you're looking at like i would have only put five dollars on it it goes for fifteen dollars because it's some weird item that i don't care about but other people do so it kind of averages out. We do pretty good and we sell a lot of volume. So you got to figure out a way to sell a lot of stuff quickly. Um, some people do it at the flea market. They take it out of the flea market and they blow it out. And you know, you just kind of pick and choose some of your, your, you know, unusual, special, really good items out to take your time on. But the majority of it, it's just regular old stuff. But people look at them, it's like, it's a, a $20 item, that's regular old stuff. It's like, blow that thing out, get rid of it. You know, you don't have to do the dollar method, but you got to keep that stuff moving because you want to keep buying as many units as possible as quickly as possible and but you don't want to just give it all away but you want to sell at a high volume so you've got to get a system in place for all your regular old junk to sell it all sell it all quickly and you know be selling your just your really nice stuff at a slower pace and furniture and stuff if you don't have a lot of room like i said you got to figure out a system to be moving that stuff moving that stuff quickly but like I said, volume is the name of the game. If you're not equipped or if you don't want to do volume, you can't handle it, then just pick. Go out to yard sales, go out to estate sales, pick stuff, sell it on eBay, whatever the case is. But if you're gonna buy storage units, it's not a picker's game. I've seen a lot of pickers over the years when they used to all be live, they would come out and they would waste their time because they would just keep waiting and waiting on this perfect unit that fit their needs just right and it wasn't going to happen they'd be like i don't want all that stuff and they would try to pick out of the units like that i bought like i'd buy it hey how much you want for that and i'm most of the time it's like i'm selling that that's part of what i, I just bought it i'm not selling it to you for for cheap that's the best item in here all that other stuff in there i'm going to sell cheap and that's the one item that i'm going to get my money on so it just wasn't didn't work out for them because they didn't want the volume but they were out there you know you know playing the game that was high volume that's just the way it is with the storage auction business so if you're thinking about buying storage units and you can't handle volume or you don't want to you know do that business business model do that business method it's probably not for you because i mean i've been doing it for a long time i've seen a lot of different people do it in a lot of different ways and the only way that truly works is to find a system that you can sell a lot of stuff very quickly, high volume, because you're getting stuff at high volume. It only makes sense. If you're buying at high volume, then you've got to sell at high volume. I mean, you can't buy at high volume and then sell like a picker, like you only went out to a yard sale and you bought 10 or 15 things, because that stuff's just going to pile up on you. So just a little tip, you know, for the resale business, specifically, you know, storage auctions, if you're thinking about getting in them or if you're kind of doing it now and you're having a hard time because the stuff's piling up on you and you're overwhelmed and you're drowning in stuff, you know, it might not be the deal for you or you might just need to change your model, think your, change your mindset and think high volume. So that's it for this video. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up, you know, hit the like button, leave us a comment, ask me questions. And if you haven't already, if you wanna see more videos like this, also videos of us loading storage units, um, our thrift store, all that kind of stuff. Hit the subscribe button. Y'all have a good one.